Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Shades Podcast. I am Kyla Briscoe, and it is the mission of me, Ariel, and Ray to help you take off your cultural dark frames, step out of darkness and deception, and to come into the light. Today's episode is about soul ties. Every time you have sex, something happens. Wow. What is that thing that happens when you engage in sexual intercourse? Well, we're going to talk about that today. There is no such thing as just casual sex. That's the notion that our society has today. And this generation strongly believes that we can just have sex casually. We can engage in hookup culture. We can engage in these one night stands and these quick hidden and quitted events and be done with it and have no emotional attachment to the person that we were just involved with. Every time you engage in sexual intercourse, you create a soul tie with your sexual partner. Wow. You are, my friend, a three-part being. You are a spirit. You own a soul and you live in a human body. What is the soul? The soul consists of the mind, will, and emotions. It's how we think. It is how we feel. It's how we process things. It is how we make decisions. You are a three-part being. The real you is a spirit. You own a soul and then you live in a human body, which we will explain more in later episodes about the three-part being of who you really are. But every time you have sex, you create soul ties with that individual. And of course, now I understand that there are other soul ties out here. There are other ways that soul ties can be formed. I get it. I'm not oblivious to that. We are a podcast that tackles sexual lustfulness. So of course, we are talking about soul ties that are developed through sex. So you should understand that sex was created for, it was created by God for husband and wife. And so when the two have sex, they become one flesh. They are united and they are bonded together. But whenever we have sex outside of marriage, we create ungodly soul ties. Now, what is a soul tie? A soul tie, simply explained, is being emotionally and mentally attached to someone after being physically intimate with them. So I'm going to say it again. A soul tie is being emotionally and mentally attached to someone after being physically intimate with them. There is a book called Change Your Brain, Change Your Life by Dr. Daniel Amen. And he says in the book, I'm going to read us a snippet of what he says. He says, sex is a tri-dimensional experience spirit soul and body just what i said to you he says anytime you have sex with a person you bond with them he says whenever a person is sexually involved with another person neurochemical changes occur in both their brains that encourage limbic emotional bonding limbic emotional bonding is the reason casual sex doesn't really work for most people on a whole mind and body level two People may decide to have sex just for the fun of it, yet something is occurring on another level that they might not have decided on at all. Sex is enhancing an emotional bond between them, whether they want it or not. One person, often the woman, is bound to form an an attachment and will be hurt when a casual affair ends. One reason It is usually the woman who is hurt most is that the female limbic system is larger than the males. This is what we call soul ties. Sex is like gluing two pieces of wood together and the next day ripping them apart. Of course, wood from the opposite board remains on each board. A piece of your sex partner, the good, bad and ugly stays with you and vice versa for the rest of your life. You can only imagine what it looks like when you bond with multiple partners. Unhealthy soul ties are often the ramifications of having partners that you create a lifelong bond with through a through a sexual encounter, but with whom you have a short term relationship with the bond soul tie remains long after the relationship is over, leaving both sexual partners longing for holiness. Wow. So when we have sex, 
This is the male, this is the female. And this is what happens every single time we have sex. Elmer, go ahead and sponsor us. We give y'all free promo. Go ahead and give us a sponsorship. We'll gladly do it. So every time you have sex with somebody, you're getting involved with them. You, Man, it's just a one night stand. She's just coming over. It's just a little quick Netflix and chill. She know really that this ain't really, I'm just in here, you know, I'm just go hit it and quit it. She know I don't want nothing to do with her. After I go ahead and ejaculate and bust this Oh, never mind. My bad. My bad. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it PG. She she knows after that. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and, and and leave. I'm gonna go ahead and dip. She know I'm only here just for the city. Oh, well, it was just one night. It was just a little one night thing. I met her at the club. He was gonna meet up. We we just met on this dating app. And you guys are coming together. You guys are having sex. And then when you all come together, the Bible says that the two become one. Wow. The male and the female come together and now you guys are tied together every time you have sex you guys are becoming one you thought it was just a little casual thing but now you are forever tied to this woman you have created an ungodly soul tie now you are wondering why she's becoming weird you like man i don't put it down on her. i don't put the d down on it so good baby girl you sure you ready for this because when i put it on you no no i don't, I don't want you going back you see and so now it's not just that it's because now she's developed a soul tie you're talking about that she's demonized no she's not demonized she's soul tied wow and so now you're talking about, man, I wonder why she's acting like that. She's so emotionally attached. Now she's asking me questions like, what are we? She wants to know where, where do we want to take this relationship? I told her it was nothing serious. I told her it was just a one night thing. I told her I was only going to be here just for the city, you know, just for a good time. I'm not really here for a long term committed relationship. Now she over here blowing up my phone. She done popped up at my crib. <laughs> now she's sending my mama a friend request on Facebook. What is up? with this girl she's psycho no she's not psycho she's been soul tied and this is what happens every time you engage in sex with a person and so of course since you've created an ungodly soul tie and you have been having sex outside of marriage and god is not in that relationship that you two have together of course those relationships are not going to last of course they're going to end they're going to come to an end eventually these toxic relationships and then of course when y'all split and y'all go your own way man I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going back to Chicago. I'm going back to my old girl. I'm, oh, you was just really my side chick. You wasn't even really my main chick, really. And I'm, I'm, I'm me and my baby mama, we trying to work it out. We trying to see eye to eye. And now y'all are trying to rip apart, but can't. Wow, because y'all have a soul tie. And even when y'all break apart, it's pieces of the girl that's left on the man and it's pieces of the man left on the woman and now you are carrying this into a marriage wow now you've come into your marriage and now you done brought Devonte in now you done brought alvin in now you done brought casey and jojo i'm sorry you done brought the whole you done brought the whole jodeci squad in there i love jodeci i love y'all so much bring me to y'all's vegas residency but anyway you done brought a whole group of people you done brought Samantha into your relationship. You done brought Sylvia into the relationship. You done brought Brenda in. You done brought all of these chicks into the relationship. Wow. And now y'all are soul tied. This is what happens, guys, when we have sex before marriage. This is why God tells us not to be involved in sex before marriage. Because when a husband and a wife come together and they have sex, the goal of sex is to bond and to join them together. God wants the husband and the wife to have a soul tie, but he wants it to be a tie and a bond that cannot be broken. That is the importance of having sex in marriage. A condom cannot protect you from a soul tie. Wow, did you just say that, bro? Bro, I didn't even raw dog. I just really just, oh, okay. It, it still cannot protect you from a soul tie well i'm on birth control okay but they can't protect you my friend 
from a soul tie. You may not have any spiritual transmitted diseases, but you may have some spiritual transmitted diseases. No, I don't have any spiritual transmitted disease. No, no, no. Yeah, you may have a spiritual transmitted disease. May not be a sexual transmitted disease, but it can be a spiritual transmitted disease, a transfer of demonic spirits that take place while when you're engaging in sex outside of marriage. So, you, my friend, you've been having <laughs> some premarital sex and you're now starting to get a little worried now. <laughs> you're kind of concerned like, oh, man, Kyler, is it, do I have a soul tie? I, I mean, me and we, we, we were just talking. I didn't know it was that serious. dog. I didn't know that she would be a part of me like that. Dude, I thought it was just a one night thing, bro. I, I didn't know. This is explaining a lot. This is why she keeps sliding in my DMs. That's why every time I block her, she following me. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I done put a restraining order against her and you can't use a restraining order against a soul tie because the emotions, the mind and the will are forever tied to each other. So how can you tell that you have a soul tie? What are signs of an ungodly soul tie? I'm going to give you four signs and I'm going to go through them really fast. Number one, you take on negative traits and characteristics of the person, their behaviors, their mannerisms, their addictions, their bad attitudes. You take on that trait. Now you sm smacking your lips. You wasn't never doing that, dog. But now you done got with a girl. She got a nasty attitude. Now your attitude is starting to change. They're changing who you are. You start picking up on the same mannerisms. Certain things are starting to happen. Y'all are picking up on negative traits and characteristics of that person that you were sexually involved with. Number two is you continue to have sexual relations with them and you find it hard to stop. You're just like, man, I'm, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to stop, bro. But it's, bro, it's good, dog. You ain't, you ain't never had a girl just put it on you the way that she done just did it to me, dog. Oh my goodness. I mean, I mean, bro, I, I'm like, I'm so caught up. You over here singing R&B songs about her. You, you, your mind is bar. You over here talking about you. You, you in love now? No, you're not in love. You're in in a soul tie. That's what's happening, and you're just finding it so hard to stop. You try to leave that toxic relationship, but you can't. And now. It's because you have a soul tie. You cannot stop having sex. You just keep coming over. You say, okay, after this is done. And then, of course, you keep doing it again and again. You know that it's, you, you're lonely tonight. You go call us right over. And you know she's going to be there. And you calling him over because you know he's going to come right over. Wow. And he's going to put it on you. And he's going to do what he does. And now you cannot stop. You know that it's wrong. I know it's wrong, but it just feels so right. No, it's because you have a soul tie. Number three, you fantasize about them and you compare them to your significant other even wishing you were with them wow so you can even be with somebody else and still have a soul tie you are with somebody else but you're still looking like this you y'all y'all you're in a new relationship but you're still looking like this you still are looking like are you still carrying those old partners and so now you start fantasizing about them you thinking about them you're daydreaming you, you you over here having dreams about the girl you 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 telling your girl to do certain things in the bedroom now that's reminding you of your old chick and she's like hold on wait we ain't never been this kinky yeah like the reason is is because you you sold tie to a, a, a an older kinky girl and so now you you're comparing all of this it's because you are now having to deal with an unhealthy soul tie. And now you even may have an unhealthy obsession with that person. You're stalking them on their social media. You're, all, you're just constantly thinking about them. That's all your mind is on now. You're constantly, constantly consumed with the thought of them. It's because you may have a soul tie. And then the fourth thing, last reason, is that you feel as if they have ownership over you and vice versa. You just feel <laughs> like, man, I, I just feel like th this person just has a, has a hold on me. And, and, and it just seems like that. It seems as if you belong to them and they belong to you. You know, like, as I said before, it seems as if any moment you feel as if you could just have it. Like, and that man feels like he controls you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're in another relationship, but you know who, you know who daddy is. You know who I am, you know? And so now you feel like that and you're like, whoa, why is it that I'm feeling like this? Is because you feel ownership over that girl you, and she feels ownership over you. You feel as if you own each other now. Why is that? Because because you guys are soul tied. This is really 
a, a, a spiritual lesson now that we're learning because the world is blinded. This is not lessons that we are learning. Everybody now is so blinded and thinking that we can just have casual sex, but sex is a spiritual act. And there are things that take place in the spirit realm when you engage in sex. Do not fall for the okie doke that it is just a casual, fun, good time. It is not. So those are the signs that you may have a soul tie. So how do you break an ungodly soul tie? Well, let me give you these three things and I'm going to leave and I'm going to go through them very fast. Number one, you have to repent and renounce it. That word repentance, of course, it means a change of mind and it means to have a confession of sin. So when you confess that to God and you ask him, you have to go to God and confess that to him and ask God for forgiveness. But not only ask God for forgiveness, because when you ask God for forgiveness, he will forgive you of your sins and he will cleanse you from unrighteousness. He will clean you from that sin. But even after that, don't continue to engage in that. Now it's time to repent, not just confess it, but now it's time to change your mind. It's time to change your direction. It's time to do a new thing. And now you have to renounce it. That word renounce means to finally or informally declare one's abandonment to something. So you have to say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke all soul ties and demonic forces over my life. Say that right now. You right now, say it with me. Say, I rebuke all soul ties and demonic forces over my life. You have to say that in the name of Jesus. You got to renounce of it. That's the first thing is repent and renounce it. And then number two, man, you got to clean up. That's what we about to do after this video, all this glue on this table and, and everything right now. We're going to have to clean up. And that's what you're going to have to do, man. You got to clean up what you messed up. So you're going to have to clean up. And in other words, man, there's maybe some things that's maybe having you attached to that person. Some people are um, soul tied and, and, and the way that they're soul tied is because they may have things from that relationship, may have like a hoodie or something that they still wear that reminds them of that person. That person may have bought you a, a car. They may have bought you something and now you're holding on to that thing and you cherish it and you value it. And every time you see that thing, it reminds you of them. And it, it lets you know, wow, that you are still entangled to them, that still pieces of you are on them and pieces of them are, are on you. And, 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 and so you guys are you, you guys are still so tight. And so now you have to get rid of those gifts. You got to get rid of any things that's just keeping you guys attached to each other. And then the last thing, man, is that you just got to establish boundaries, really. When 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 those relationships have gotten so out of whack now, at a moment, you're not thinking logically. You're being controlled now by lust. And so you have to start to really distance yourself from that person. You may have to block their contact information. You may have to go ahead and, and move on and, and, and distance yourself from them and, and maybe delete their number. You may have to unfriend them from social media. You know, may have to keep it cordial. Okay, hey, how you doing? Uh -uh, we're not hugging, we fist bumping. Hey, go ahead, let's fist bump. Because last time we hugged, we ended up we ended up doing some stuff that we shouldn't have been doing. And so we're just going to have to establish some boundaries. And that's going to take some discipline and some self-control and some maturity on your part but you can break that that soul tie doesn't have to have power over you so we have to repent and renounce it we have to clean up and then we have to establish boundaries so guys these are how we break these ungodly soul ties sex was preserved and was meant for marriage for married people only that was God's intent for it. God created sex and he meant it for the confounds of marriage okay so Let's operate sex the way that God has us to operate in it. And let's move forward in doing things his way. Because when you see do things his way, you're going to get his results. And it's going to be so much better for you in the end. So thank you so much for taking time to watch the Shades podcast and to watch this video with me on breaking ungodly soul ties. And take off your cultural dark frames. And let's now start to move a little bit differently. I'm moving differently. I told y'all I was bringing back the turtlenecks and I done brought it back again on this second, <laughs> this second <laughs> solo video. So y'all go ahead and, and, and sponsor me, any turtleneck corporation out there. Thank you. Okay, I'm rambling. Thank you.